Hi, this is Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. Today we'll be talking about Oracle Data Redaction. Oracle 12C introduces a new feature called Oracle Data Redaction. Redaction policies managed by the DBMS Redact package help you hide or protect sensitive data. This functionality has been backported to 11.204. The first thing we're going to do is log into the sys user to make sure our test user has access to the DBMS Redact package. With the grant in place, we can log into our test user and create a table that's going to hold a credit card number and a string representation of that credit card number. We can now insert some test data and display it in its raw format. We create a redaction policy using the Add Policy procedure passing in the table and column details and specifying a policy name. The type of redaction is determined by the function type parameter. The expression parameter allows us to indicate which rows should be redacted. In this case we're using 1 equals 1, so all rows will be redacted. Querying the data shows us the policies in place. Notice the card number column now contains zeros. Full redaction is not always that useful, in some cases, it's much better to display some parts of the data. For example, with a credit card, you often display the last four characters. Using the alter policy procedure, we specify a redaction policy of partial. The function parameters state that we want to redact any characters to the value 1, and we want to start the redaction at position 1 and end at position 12. Looking at the data now, we can see the first 12 characters are redacted and the last four characters are the original data. A redaction policy can handle multiple columns, so what we're going to do now is extend the redaction policy we've already created to handle the card string column. We're using the alter policy procedure again, but this time with an action of add column and specifying the card string column. The function parameters look a little bit more complicated when we're applying partial redaction to a string. The first part defines how the data currently looks, using V for value and F for formatting characters. The second part indicates the format of the data after it's been redacted. We then specify the redaction character, in this case hash, and the range of values that have to be redacted, in this case the values for 1 to 12. Notice this is the values not including any formatting characters. Looking at the data we can see the values have been redacted as requested. To get rid of the redaction policy call the drop policy procedure. If you look at the data now you can see it's back in its original raw format. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description box and subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it.